Here we have a fetal monitor which came for display issue. The model is Bistros BT350. And I already disassembled the LCD driver along with the display. So how to find the problem is with LCD driver or the main board. That is so simple. If you do the beep sound, when you touching any functions, The indication is coming and sound is also coming, which means the main board is in is in uh, is in issue. So we should check the LCD driver board. So how to find the exact component? How to find how to pinpoint that that component, that shorter components or open component, whatever? How to pinpoint it? When I touch this thing, I'm sensing some heat here. So it will be so easy to find which component was faulty using as well. Rosie, I have an entire panel here. So I wanted to see which component was faulty. So I'm going to use Rosie here. Let's find out how. What I'm going to do is just applying the Rosie on these components on LCD driver. So this is the Rosie. And I'm applying the resin here because I found the heat spot here. This is the indicator. So we have to apply it here. If you have uh, resin atomizer, you can use it. I don't have it, so I am using soldering iron. and steady we should not touch the components you should apply only smoky thing on that component and rosin you can use it for finding shots and you know uh, for voltage injection you can figure it out which component is faulty like uh, if even if you are using thermal cam you can find out but uh, if you need to pinpoint the component, you can use it. So it will be more helpful when you are doing these kind of repairs. Almost done. So next thing you should do is switching on the device and see which component is faulty. Now I am going to switch on the device and see which component is faulty. Yeah, Because I found the spot here and the component is comparator comparator is faulty I have a lot of boards donor boards but I don't think I have this component because I it is 331 and I have LY45G comparator let me check it again After you apply the rosin, you should clean the board really well because it will make a mess easily. And if you have IPA solution or thinner, whatever, you can just clean the board and remove that component if you need it. But here I am having the panel, so I don't want to remove it. But I just wanted to show you guys how the things are happening, how the things are working and how to figure it out.
now i'm going to check with my donor board whether i'm having the same comparator but unfortunately this comparator won't suit with the faultiest one all right we found the faultiest component now we can put the new display panel to the machine so we change the entire panel so this is working now and set as is fast is it ready like and subscribe if you like this video